Many packages were released in week 36 since PubDev is currently suffering from spam attacks and hundreds of fake packages were released. It was a bit harder to get an overview this time, but I still found a way to filter out the real releases. Like last week I've selected the top 10 with the most likes and the top 10 by popularity for you. Every Wednesday you get a quick overview of the most important packages, so if you want to stay informed, subscribe to the channel. If you like this format, like this video, now have fun and let's go! Number 10 of the most liked packages with 4 likes is FHIR and this is a Flutter package for working with FHIR resources. On number 9 with 4 likes as well, but with 1% more of popularity, we have Zebra Utility and this Flutter plugin works with Zebra printers. On number 8, also with 4 likes but 90% of popularity, we have Audio Session and this one sets the iOS Audio Session category and Android Audio attributes for your app and manages your app's audio focus, mixing and ducking behavior. Number 7 with 5 likes is Flutter to Airplay and this plugin offers two widgets, one to play a video for a given URL or file path using native AV player and second with an option to airplay it on available Apple devices. On number 6 with 6 likes we have Easy Mask. This one is an easy and powerful mask for your text fields using only a string as parameter and it also has multi-mask support, reverse mask for currency and placeholder. It controls also the user's cursor. Number 5 with 8 likes is EPUB Viewer and this one is an EPUB ebook reader that encapsulates the folio reader framework. On number 4 with 13 likes we have Overflow View and this one provides you with a widget displaying children in a line with an overflow indicator at the end if there is not enough space. On number 3 with 13 likes as well but 32% of popularity we have very good analysis and this package provides dart linter rules which are used at very good ventures. Number 2 with 16 likes is Pluto Grid and this provides you with a data grid for Flutter. It is developed with Windows Web first and there are plans to support Android and iOS as well. And finally the number one of the most liked packages with 50 likes we have Floaty Hat and this Flutter plugin is to create custom chat heads with hidden content displayed on tap like Messenger. Now let's go on with the most popular packages. On number 10 with 41% of popularity we have Core plugin Flutter and this one gives you simple and awesome dialogues. On number 9 with 42% of popularity we have System Clock and this package provides you with timekeeping facilities. Number 8 with 43% of popularity is Lemmy API Client and this one is a future based HTTP client for the Lemmy API. It provides an easy interface and statically typed responses. Number 7 with 44% of popularity is DCLI and this one is described as an API and dev environment for writing console apps and scripts using Dart and it allows you to build bash style scripts with Dart. Number 6 has also 44% of popularity but 3 more likes and this is called Bugsnack Crashlytics and this Flutter plugin is for Bugsnack Crashlytics. It reports uncaught errors to the Bugsnack console. On number 5 we again have Flutter to Airplay. This one was on number 7 of the most liked packages. On number 4 we have again Easy Mask. This one was on number 6 in terms of likes. Number 3 on our list with 88% of popularity is Value Layout Builder and this gives you an extra value. It's useful when you want to build a widget with a value computed during layout. And number 2 again Audio Session. This one was on number 8 of the most liked ones. And finally on number 1 with 97% of popularity we have Geolocator Platform Interface, a Flutter geolocation plugin which provides easy access to platform specific location services. This one can get you the last known location, the current location of the device, the continuous location updates 
and it checks if location services are enabled on the device. It can calculate the distance in meters between two geo coordinates and it can calculate the bearing between two geo coordinates. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, then please leave me a like. And if you want to get weekly updates about the new package releases, then subscribe to this channel. And yeah, what else can I say? Have a nice day and hopefully until the next one.